Hello and welcome to this session in which we are going to overcome our fears of coronavirus. Now, there has been a lot of talk about how this virus is so contagious, how that it can affect your life in the most terrifying ways, inability to breathe, high fever, headaches, sore throat, digestive problems, and the fact that you could end up losing the ability to breathe, the pneumonia, and end up dead. This has been the fear in a lot of people's minds. If you have these fears, it is a very rational, logical fear. The fear that you could be a victim like so many have become, like so many who have succumbed to the fact that this virus does not discriminate between the young and the old. Yet there are fears that we have in our minds that are not rational. And this is why we have to learn to control our fears. Because there are things that we can control in our life. There are things that we cannot. And knowing that no matter how hard you try, things like the weather or the environment and things that are just consistent with life cannot be altered. The fact that you're aging, the fact that the sun is going to come up today, tomorrow, or when it's going to go down at night. These are things that happen without you ever having to have any power over those things. It is for this reason I would like you to take a moment to take a deep breath and hold that breath until the count of three. Inside you can count three, two, one and release. And you can continue doing this until your breath is just calm like a tide moving in and moving out, like a baby sleeping at night. Yet your conscious mind, although it may go to sleep, your unconscious mind will become fully awake, hearing everything I say and everything I tell you, to be fully conscious of it, so that you are open to suggestions, suggestions that will benefit your life, immensely. It is for this reason I tell you that each breath you take is a gift. Each breath you take now is going to help you to relax your mind and help you to ease away some of the things that have held you captive. Things that you thought that you had control over that you no longer have things that we know to be true, to become untrue. Yet no matter how much you try, things will flow. Life will go on with or without you. And having this awareness is going to allow you to concentrate your breath and focus on the top of your head where the muscles of your skull can relax as well as your forehead. And if you bring your attention to your eyelids, it can also relax and your cheek and your tongue and the back of your ears can all spread to this warm, gentle, sweaty, soft summer breeze that will bring you to go into a state of utter relaxation That relaxation can spread down your neck, your throat, your back, your chest. And as it moves towards your arms and the fingertips, you will realize that this limp, limp feeling that has been taking over your body 
is the sense of relaxation that overcomes all things that are worrisome. These are things we leave at the door and close, and then move on to this freedom of relaxation. And this relaxation moves down to your stomach and your hips and your back. You'll realize that it is a feeling that can overtake the body and move ever so gently and so sweetly down the path of the least resistance. This is why when it goes down to your thighs and your legs and your feet, that you have also relaxed your body to the state where it is able to be molded into a state of relaxation. The state of relaxation can extend from the toes to the fingertips to the top of your head and cycle and each time it cycles the relaxation will allow you to breathe a lot easier, a lot calmer and your thoughts will just flow and whatever thoughts that might come you may realize yourself to be drifting, drifting ever so slightly softly, gently towards the state of relaxation. And as you relax and let go, you find yourself to be comfortable, relaxed. And each state of mind will shift you into your brain waves that will be almost like you are daydreaming, hearing everything that I say hearing all my suggestions and your unconscious mind registers each and every one of them because it is the path of least resistance it's the path of acceptance that things will flow and as, as they flow you will realize yourself to be perfectly in still motion that as it will move through the streams of consciousness you are just but a drifting leaf going down this path of least resistance. As you keep going, you'll find yourself drifting, and your thoughts drifting, and you find that it is not that you are in control, but your unconscious that is in control. That unconscious state is where magic happens. Because everywhere where there is panic and there is anxiety, there is a state of calmness that exists, like that stream that is just still at the moment of landing into the ocean. It is that stillness of the breeze that flows and stops, and the trees and the leaves stop to move. It is in this state of utter calmness that you find yourself ever so soft and gentle, like a drifting leaf that has come to a state of stillness. And now that you follow this path, you have come to realize that you are on the receiving end of suggestions. Suggestions that will help you to move through days and nights and weeks and months knowing that the virus that is out there that has spread so much fear is just a state of change that happens. It has happened so many times throughout the lifetimes of humanity from the Spanish flu to Black Death. There has been times that men have suffered and faced many challenges, yet humanity has survived because they persevere. They see that things will alter and change until things take a new shape. It is like the chaos that comes and sets up a new reality. In the end, things will become more clear and you'll see that things have changed in a fundamental way, like the pollution that has disappeared, like the air that you breathe cleaner, like the overconsumption that has faded away, 
because people realize that they can do with a lot less than what they have. That we do not need so many cars and so much stuff. That what matters is family and friends and the idea of sharing and love. In the times of this big upheaval, people will discover things like compassion and joy and forgiveness and generosity. No longer would you be enslaved by the rich. No longer would you be enslaved by a system that only dictates to you what you should be doing. Instead, now you are given the freedom to make a choice. A choice of how you want to lead your life, how healthy you want to be, how rich you want to be. These changes are all there. And you are going to be the one who's going to decide. Are you going to be the one that is going to be a victim? Or are you going to be the one who's going to come out on top, healthier, wiser, richer, and happier than everyone else? If you see the opportunities rather than the challenges, you begin to realize that life throws you challenges. These are the challenges that are going to mold you, give you the opportunity to see that you can be better than that you are today. Without wars, without conflicts, how could the humanity have learned to become a better civilization? How could the humanity have come together without realizing that life is a cycle? Now you have the opportunity to look at the world and see that it is theater, a game, that humanity must persevere. Even in the most challenging times, there will be times that humanity will overcome what we call the greed mentality. The greed of having more, desiring more, the desire to outlive everyone else, the desire to be richer than everyone else, their desire to take and take and take without cessation. It is no longer the possibility that the banks own everything and the rich own all the buildings, that the world's 1% population rules over the 99. Look at it this way. You yourself has only one option, and that is to become more than what you are today. And this virus is your opportunity to see that if you do not take care of yourself, if you do not protect yourself, if you don't maintain social distance and wash your hands and ensure that you and your family are safe, that you will become another statistical number, another in the counting of that meter that keeps showing how many people have passed away? Another statistic that is buried underneath the earth and forever lost, that no one will remember. If you yourself knows that this is what will become of you if you do not take action, is the point where in which you are left without a choice but to remember that you had always had a choice whether you want to live or become better or perish and be forgotten. And now if you have chosen and your mind is designed to keep you alive, you will find that your life is ever, ever grand illusion. Illusion that you had no choice. Each time you make a decision, you have a choice. Each time you get out of bed, you have a choice. Each time you go to work, you have a choice. And if you stop the negative talk, you'll find, even when you have most challenging circumstances where you may not have the funds or the resources, these are excuses you tell to yourself. The choices are there. 
the opportunities are there. Only thing you have to do is look and see the past this vicious looking monster, this beast of coronavirus, that it is there to overcome what has been the enslavement of humanity. To look at it in this way, if you are sick at point in time, you could overcome this. If you are healthy, you can keep being healthy by making sure you eat well, you worry less, you protect your family, you follow the guidelines for staying safe. And you will find that your choices have led you to become a better human, a better person that is wealthier, healthier, and more intelligent. It is not the virus that is your enemy. Virus is just there, like a roadblock. You have to go around and let it pass, like a thing that has happened in the past. People who have been in financial markets, they have seen many ups and downs. They know things will change, that they are always in motion. The crash of 1987, the bubble that happened with real estate in 2008. These are things that have come to pass. And a few years from now, we're all going to look back and say there was this virus called COVID-19. Coronavirus. We had a president called Donald Trump. And these things were the times. These are things of memory. These are things that history will record. And the question is, how would you like to remember these times? Would you like to remember these times as an opportunity for you to become better? Would you like to remember these times as a choice that you made and that you turn your life towards the positive, towards things that would make you a healthier and more wiser person? Now, with all this, the choice is up to you. Are you unconsciously going to take choices that is going to endanger you or your family? Or are you going to allow your unconscious mind to guide you? And guidance is going to be so simple because you do not have to tell your unconscious mind where to go. Your unconscious mind already knows where to go if you only point in the direction you want it to go. If your direction is to become healthy and keep healthy, your unconscious mind will protect you. It will tell you when there is danger, will tell you what to do next. It will make sure that you don't touch that dirty surface or that place that will present danger to you or your family. You will naturally protect yourself. If your desire to remain in a state of positivity, your mind will do that too. Don't have to tell your mind each and every step. We'll find the step. Only thing you need to do is give direction. Say, I want to stay positive. And if you want to become wealthy and stay healthy, then you have to just say, I want to prosper. I want this to be a chance for me. Even in these uncertain times, there are businesses that are booming. Whether it's the ventilator business or the mask business or things that you're supplying or somebody supplying that is vital like food and toilet paper or other things. So there are opportunities at each and every turn and only you can see these opportunities if you just let yourself do. In these hard and challenging times you may see that you can serve humanity, serve yourself, serve your family, and become a better person by giving, by doing the right thing. It is your mission in life to become a better human. Yet if you blunder and if you fall because you do not see what you are meant to be and how great you can be, it is only your fault. And this is why you are here. They are attempting to become better. And each time that you listen to this hypnosis, this session, you're going to find yourself to be more relaxed. 
and healthier and more wiser, and that you do not have to defeat the virus. The virus is already defeated by the very knowledge that you have, that your unconscious mind is protecting you. And in that respect that I now tell you to relax and go deeper and deeper with each breath, each thought, each word that you hear, allowing you to drift, drift, drift down to a state of utter unconsciousness where you will be able to receive the suggestion that you are forever safe, that you are forever protected by the very nature of your ablution to become a better person. Your unconscious mind will direct you in the right direction. With that, I always say, follow your soul, follow your unconscious mind, not your conscious mind, and you will arrive to the destination and everything else you do around the journey will be fun and joyful. You will see yourself drifting like you are watching yourself go through the motions, arriving to happiness and joy, arriving to a healthier tomorrow. With that, I'm going to now ask you to take a deeper and deeper breath in and as you relax, you're going to bring your consciousness into the room, into your environment, and return to a state of wakefulness that is going to be refreshing. It's going to be one that's going to allow you to become healthier and happier and more joyful. And now I count till three. And then on the number three, you're going to open your eyes and say, feel a lot better on one, two, three. I feel better. I thank you for watching and listening to this session. And I recommend that you listen to it every night before you fall asleep for a duration of 21 days to become wealthy, healthy and be protected from this virus that has been an pandemic throughout the world and I invite you to make a donation to our cause to help others and produce more of these sessions for everyone to benefit. You can find that information at the bottom of the description section and I hope to see you in our next session. Thank you.